Okay, for example one, it says convert 348 centimeters to meters. So uh, the metric system is usable and its purpose is to make um, conversions simple. All right? Every unit of the metric system is a power of 10 different than each other. So a centimeter is 100 centimeters makes one meter. So that's 10 to the second power, right? Um, so the idea of the metric system is that um, I find that most people convert units better with the, the technique we've been using because sometimes we move the decimal point the wrong direction, all right? Main idea is if you go from a small to a big, you move the decimal left. If you go big to small, you move it right. But then you got to remember all that. So if we instead go with the, the plan that we've been using for the section 5.2, if we know a fact, one meter equals 100 centimeters, that's my equivalent measure fact that I know. And I'm trying to convert from something to something, so 348 centimeters. I'm trying to convert to meters. If I put the unit of centimeters on the bottom, I put the unit of meters on top, and one of these equals 100 of those, just like we've been doing. I get the unit of centimeter on top, the unit of centimeter on the bottom, and I'm left with just a numerical statement there. If my numbers are in the same position, top, top, I multiply. If they're different positions, I divide. In this case, 348 is on top, 100 is on the bottom, so I would divide. 348 divided by 100 is 3.48, right? Again, just a, some moving of the decimal point two spaces to the left, but this guarantees you went the right direction. Because again, I've seen people say that it's 34,800. They go the wrong direction and they're like way off. So um, if you do it the technique we've been using, you're more likely to get the right answer because you're going to do the right operation. 